in today's class we are going to talk about the vertex connectivity edge connectivity has already been discussed and based on the same notion we will introduce vertex connectivity and then we will talk about Whitney's theorem which gives us the relation between edge connectivity and vertex connectivity so vertex cut set so it is a subset of the vertex set whose removal disconnect the graph it should be the minimal set for example try to find all the vertex cut of the given graph very interesting exercise I am showing you the answer and then you can match with your answers so these are the following six vertex cut of the following graph for example when I delete A and E then the remaining graph is B D F G H and C is disjoint is an isolated vertex so similarly you can observe all of them are the vertex cut so a connected graph is k vertex connected and the more general notation is k connected in case of the k edge connected edge word is always there but in case of k vertex connected we simply call it k connected if it has more than k vertices and it remains connected when less than k vertices are removed same concept which we have used or discussed in case of the edge connectivity and once we know it's k connected then the largest k for which it is k connected gives you the connectivity of the graph here connectivity means vertex connectivity which is denoted as kappa g so for the following graph compute the vertex connectivity as well as the edge connectivity so for g1 you can see that it has a cut vertex as well as it has a cut edge and therefore kappa g1 and kappa dash g1 is equal to 1 for the next graph it has a cut vertex so kappa g2 is equal to 1 but it does not have a cut edge you have to delete at least two edges to disconnect the graph and therefore kappa dash g2 is equal to 2 moving further let's consider the same example for which we have discussed the edge connectivity please do try to find out its vertex connectivity edge connectivity was 3 now it's one is it one connected yes every connected graph is one connected it does not have a cut vertex so it's two connected it means if you delete a vertex the graph remains if you delete any vertex the graph remains connected is it three connected it means if you delete two vertices you have to find two vertices whose deletion disconnect the graph does there exist a pair of the vertices which disconnects the graph yes if i delete these two vertices after its deletion the remaining graph is this one it means it is not three connected and it means that its vertex connectivity is two this is the largest value of k for which it is k connected now quickly try to find out the vertex connectivity of null graph tree cycle graph complete graph and complete bipartite graph for null graph it's zero for tree we know that every tree has a cut vertex as well as cut edge and therefore its vertex connectivity is one you can say that there is one exception if we simply draw k2 it is also a tree and if we delete a vertex it does not becomes disconnected we will discuss it case in when we are going to discuss the vertex connectivity of complete graph kn cn so if i delete if i draw c6 you can see that it does not have a cut vertex but if i delete 1 4 then the remaining graph is 2 3 and 5 6 so for all cycles 
if I delete two vertices, then it becomes disconnected. And therefore, but if I delete lesser than two vertices, it is not disconnected and therefore vertex connectivity is two. Now for Kn, think over it, K4, let me try draw K4. In K4, even I delete one vertex, two vertex, three vertex, it would not be disconnected. So just for convention, we assume that its vertex connectivity is n minus one. And the last one is complete bipartite graph. It's minimum of n comma n. For example, when you draw k two three, so if you delete these two vertices, then the remaining graph is disconnected. So the next concept is maximum degree which we have already discussed and the minimum degree. Now think that what is the relation between the minimum degree of a graph and edge connectivity. What do you think? Are they always equal or which one of them is smaller? Let me give you a few examples. If you see this example then the minimum degree is 2 of this vertex and also the edge connectivity is 2 it does not have a cut edge but if I delete these two edges the graph becomes disconnected so this is equal to 2 but if you see this example then the minimum degree is 3 1 2 3 but it has a cut edge and therefore the edge connectivity is 1 Yes, so and similarly we can think of what is the relation between the vertex connectivity and edge connectivity. Let's again see the same example. In this example it does not have a cut vertex and cut edge therefore the vertex connectivity and edge connectivity is 2 but if you see this example it has a cut vertex and because of this the vertex connectivity is 1 but the edge connectivity is 2. So from all these examples now we can reach to the following observation which is known as the Whitney's theorem. So Whitney's theorem says that the vertex connectivity cannot exceed edge connectivity and edge connectivity cannot exceed the minimum degree very interesting proof how we are going to prove it so first we are going to prove yeah before we, are, we reach to the proof interesting question that does there exist a graph for which equality holds think of the graph for which vertex connectivity is equal to the edge connectivity and it is equal to minimum degree so one simple option is complete graph kn now to prove this result, we will start by showing that edge connectivity is always less than or equal to delta G. Why is it so? Consider any graph. Let me draw this graph. Yes, now the minimum degree is 2. This degree is 3, 3, 2 and so on. Now the minimum degree is 2, it means that whenever I delete these two edges, it's guaranteed that the graph becomes disconnected. So if minimum degree is k, it means there always exist k edges whose deletion disconnect the graph. And of course there may exist less than k edges whose removal also disconnects the graph. For example, this one, here the minimum degree is 2. Of course, when I delete these two edges, the graph becomes disconnected. But when I delete a single edge, then also the graph becomes disconnected. So delta G guarantees, if delta G is K, then you can say that it's K edge connected. Yes, 
but we can always find the smaller k and therefore kappa dash g is always less than equal to delta g you can read the following statement if g has k edges then we get a disconnected graph when all the edges incident with the vertex of minimum degree are removed and of course there could be the other option so either there is equality or the kappa dash g is less than equal to delta g now try to think how we can prove vertex connectivity cannot exceed edge connectivity how we are going to prove this one so to prove this first we will see some very obvious cases the first one is the complete graph where equality holds so let's assume the graph is not complete the next one is disconnected graph again the disconnected graph both are zero so let's assume the graph is connected the last one is cut edge so the cut edge we know that kappa dash g is equal to one and in case of the cut edge for example this we know that one of the endpoint is a cut vertex only exception is k2 and in k2 we already know that it's n minus 1 so which is 1 it means that let's assume that the graph is not complete it's connected and it does not have a cut vertex or cut edge so to prove we assume that kappa dash g is at least 2 okay now we have to show that the vertex connectivity is always less than equal to edge connectivity to understand the proof let's see an example whichever example we want to take let me take this example now of course it does not have a cut vertex and cut edge so kappa dash g we have assumed that let kappa dash g is greater than equal to uh, let kappa dash g is equal to k yes it means that if i delete k minus 1 edges then after deleting k minus 1 edges the graph must have a bridge okay so clearly the removal of kappa dash g minus 1 of these edges produces a graph which has a cut edge because when you delete kappa dash g edges then the graph becomes disconnected so kappa dash g minus 1 it has a cut edge and which means when you delete one more edge then the graph becomes disconnected yes now consider this example so for each of these kappa dash g minus 1 edges select an vertex so first first see how we deleted kappa dash g minus 1 edges so consider this graph and i deleted kappa dash g minus 1 edges so i delete this edge and this edge and now i can see the graph as a bridge okay now these two edges are incidenting to 1 and 2 so i have deleted two edges now in the original graph if i delete these two vertices then it guarantees that these two edges would automatically be deleted so if i delete two vertices vertex 1 and 2 which are the end point of these two edges kappa dash g minus 1 then deletion of these two vertices guarantees the deletion of these edges but along with these two edges it may delete many more edges it means that it may happen that after deleting the vertices 1 2 or after deleting kappa dash g minus 1 vertices the graph becomes disconnected in that particular case you can directly say that kappa g is less than equal to kappa dash g because kappa dash g is k and you have deleted k minus 1 vertices in case the graph does not becomes disconnected then along with these vertices which you have deleted you delete one more vertex v so let's say you delete one two and v so when you delete 
then these two edges would be deleted and along with that v would also be deleted and in that case there comes the equality okay so whichever the case is there you can see that kappa g is always less than equal to kappa dash g so very interesting proof you can read it from the notes again and that's all from this class thank you